from Denise, Serbia. This is the FIBA Women's Eurobasket 2019 Group Phase Group C game between Hungary and Romania. This is number one, the opening game of uh, the tournament here in Beach. And uh, lots of excitement ahead, of course. Basketball in this part of the world is hugely important. Here's the group, group phase, group C. Turkey, Italy, Hungary, and Slovenia. And he's battling it out, uh, gunning for his top three spots. And of course, uh, today's action. Hungary, Slovenia, Slovenia, Slovenia. We'll see Turkey and Slovenia. We'll see Turkey and Italy. So I've got Taylor joined uh, by Shona Thorberg, my colleague of uh, past tournament, and Shona. Uh, we were at the last year of Africa Women together and uh, had a lot of fun and here we are again. These two teams, uh, they, they had some bright moments at the last year of Africa. Uh, and uh, here we are, we're going to try to build on that experience. Yeah, this is only the second uh, Eurobasket event for Slovenia. Uh, their first was back in 2017, and you know, like you said, they they, they were close. They almost uh, had a big upset over France, but France ended up pulling off the win. Uh, Hungary, they've been around, but they haven't advanced to the quarterfinals since 2001. So they are always there. They're just not getting enough wins in that uh, preliminary group phase to move on, really. So. But when it comes to experience, her career definitely has the edge over But they do have some incredibly experienced players, especially in the backcourt. You know, I, I think their one-two punch is probably one of the best in this tournament, and they also have Evans on the interior for them. Number four, they put up really for these two teams. Uh, it all starts here today. I don't have to say the competition uh, is such that every win has a price list for these two teams. There's not that much margin for error. No, there isn't. You know, we talked to, just before we went on, Jeff, and you have to finish one, two, three in the pool. So the last team gets to go home, unfortunately. So really, every win or every loss counts that much more. And I, I couldn't, if you asked me, I couldn't really predict who will finish one, two, three, four in this group. So you don't want to take any chances. But well, we're going to have a pause for the playing of the national anthems for both of these teams.
Okay, national anthems have been played, and we are just three and a half minutes away from the opening tip of this first game here in Group C of Nice, third largest city of Serbia. The referees for this game are Mario Benchovic in the middle in this part of the world, this time of year. Also, uh, to the left there, and it's put out goes up from Spain. They will be doing the refereeing today. We're also going to look at the rosters and the starting fives for both of these teams. Of course, action already underway in other parts. We'll talk more about that later here in Slovenia. And Shona, who jumps off the sheet uh, for you there for French Dr. Gergen? I mean, it has to be Oblak. Uh, she's one of the leaders of this team. She has EuroLeague uh, experience playing in a uh, Final Four EuroLeague experience playing for Chaperon. There you see her. She's starting at guard. We have uh, Anna Maria Prezel, Baric also, you know, uh, you recognize her name from ECAT, Lisic, and Evans. Uh, Shante Evans has been with them for the last two years now. Uh, she's someone who they desperately need because they don't have a lot of height. And here we have Oblak. She was the leader for them at their qualified 2019 qualifying rounds. Uh, average double digits for them in 2017. You know, she, like I said, she started for USK Praha this year. That was a team that made it to the uh, women's final four of the EuroLeague. So she is very experienced. I think she's going to be someone who, who they need and uh, needs in the sense of she needs to score, but she also needs to be a leader for them. Now for Hungary coach Norbert Sike, uh, a very important face has appeared in this team. <laughs> yeah, and that's Yvonne Turner. Uh, those who follow women's basketball know her name. She's played in Chopra in the last three years. She's been to two Final Four, EuroLeague Final Four is on the way back. Here we have their starting five, Rakshanya. Struder, that's a young player for them who, who was excellent at the youth level. We have Varga, Turner, Hatar. Uh, I think this is actually a pretty equal matchup for me. And then you have Yvonne Turner. Uh, I mean, this is her first competition with them, and you don't, you never know how they integrate because she hasn't had a lot of practice time with them. But as far as the fact, uh, as some naturalized players go, she's been around. She knows these women because she has played in Hungary for so long. So they know her. She's comfortable with them. She's comfortable with the language. So I don't think it'll be like some other naturalized players that we see playing for, for some of these European countries. Yeah, Norbert uh, went to Great Lakes yesterday to uh, speak about her daughter Gergic, who coaches Salini, who was there for that fun ride uh, a couple of years ago. For Slovenia, where they got a win, and uh, they also lost a heartbreaker. And France didn't advance. And we're going to take a hungry coach, number nine. You know, he says the results are always number one, the most important thing. But uh, for Hungary, also, they, they have that bigger picture of uh, knowing that they need to build for the future. So, temper. Yeah, they do, and I think that's why you see him starting Studer, who, who like I said, in, in 2018 at the U20 Euro Basket, uh, European Championships, under-20 European Championships, she averaged over 17 points, but what's even more eye-popping is she had over seven assists a game. So she is definitely someone who I know was at the younger levels, but she had a great 2019 qualification round for them, and, and this is what the Hungarian coach is looking at. He's looking at what are these young players, early 20s, going to be able to do at the senior level. And he's giving them an opportunity to start and play, which I think is great. And that shows you he's looking to the future. Well, welcome, folks, to Nice, Serbia. This is the... FIBA Women's Euro Basket 2019 Group C game between Slovenia and Hungary, and it's Hungary winning the opening tip. And already, Studer getting inside, taking the bump, and scoring. Yeah, 
and you know, I talked about her assists because I think that's what's a little bit more impressive about her at such a young age. She already feels and reads the game so well, but clearly first play of the game, she's proven that she can also score. So it's difficult. How do you shut down someone's scoring ability when they're such a great passer and are going to get their teammates open looks? Zika Barnes is like, I'm just standing here. We'll have another play. It's a three-point play. Uh, I guess you'd say a dream start uh, for the young student and also this country. Qualification for the quarterfinals last time, two years ago. And Barnes. Slovenia did not, but Hungary did on air ball. Evans gets the rebound. He says gets it and scores on the baseline. of the qualifiers. Yeah, she actually led. Turner drives in. Oh, that's been their favorite spot on the court. These two baskets. You know, talking about Hatar, she actually led all players in the in the qualification rounds in field goal percentage at just over 67%. So clearly if she catches the ball close to the basket, the majority of the time it's going in. Drills the three. Well, the guards in this game already uh, making the headlines. Scoring the points. Driving in. Rakshani over in the corner. And the basket is good from Varga. Number 10. I mean, I, I think it's pretty easy to say that so far this has been an exciting game. Evans whips it to the corner. Oblak over to Lisette. Gets in the lane, goes up with the left hand, was blocked by Hattar. Evans grabs it though. And some loose balls being collected by Slovenia. And they're taking advantage. Scooter. Offensive foul. And the call again. Varga. Here's Scooter again. So they said that she was moving. Uh, not Scooter, but Varga. Varga. You know, that's one of those that, as a post player and as a screener, you maybe want to tell your guard, hey, wait for me until I get there. Because if you don't, it's a moving screen on my part. Oh, my. Another offensive rebound. Note the ball fumbled out of bounds. Not able to be corralled there by Evans. And back to Hungary. Seven apiece. Uthar had three double-doubles in points and rebounds in the successful qualification campaign. Here she is. Uh, not able to crowd that one. Baric comes up to midcourt and fouled by Agnes Scooter. Here's another look. First, Bodic. Hands it off. Still in her mid 20s. There's Lissette. Drives in. Scores with the left hand. And also draws the foul. So she will go to the line. Well, she's been a force so far today and misses the free throw, however. Here's Yvonne Turner pushing it quickly. She says, I'm going all the way, and Evans reaches in and blocks it. Knocks it out of bounds. So there's still plenty of time on the shot clock. Yeah, that was just a good job by Evans getting her hand on the ball. Altar 
putting up the long one there. Oblak chased down from behind. Oblak played for Prague. He talked about it at the early win in Final Four. Yvonne Turner was there as well with host Chopron. Qatar was there who just pulled down the rebounds. I mean, there's a few people who have some, you know, Baric was there with ECAT. There are a few people on the floor right now who have some incredible basketball experience just from this past year alone. Florida back out on the perimeter to Studer. Studer trying to dribble the ball in front of Oblak and she just takes it right away. And now she races down the court behind the back pass. She's swatted by Bernadette Attar, but Attar called for the foul. A bit of showtime from Oblak. To support their team. Look at that behind the back pass. And uh, Akar not liking the call. So for the most part, they've let him play today. And that was a great pass by Oblak, but I also think the hands that Yvonne, Tur uh, sorry, Yvonne Turner, that uh, Shante Evans has, she was able to catch that ball in transition, going full speed with defense in a crowded area and still be able to go up for the layup and draw the foul. She, I mean, even in her offensive rebound we saw, she she has great hands, she just sticks to the play, is aggressive the entire time. Slovenia won their first five qualification games before falling to France in their last one, but they'd already punched their ticket to the Eurobasket women by that point. Now Hungary do a good job getting the ball inside, another foul called. 14 seconds on the shot. Ana Maria Preze, number six, Colton Coming over from behind. Rakshani on the baseline. And the ball goes out of bounds. And it'll be Hungary ball again with 14. Well, we just saw Rakshani go up to the two pointer there, but <laughs> actually in the qualifications. She shot over 50% from three. She was 11 and 21 from three-point land. So uh, that's something that Slovenia knows, have scouted, and said we need to run her off the three-point line and get her to shoot pull-ups or go to the basket and try and have help. Well, Varga again in that same spot on the floor, that layup on the right side, and they get some joy. She's fouled by Lisic. Another First person on ball number 12, Eva Lisic. And that was one of those, I think she's right, didn't make too much contact, but slightly, you know, it looks out of position there. And more times than not, the, the attacking player is going to get that call. Yeah, you know, I think Varga from Hungary did a great job of kind of getting position, knew that she had her on her back. And maybe it wasn't that big of a foul, but from the rest perspective and where they are on the court, you saw her lean over. Maybe she didn't touch her, but you, you both saw it. Oh, Black drills a three. She's come out firing, folks. She's got the lead. Today, she certainly has the game. Biggest lead now for Slovenia. Five points, and Hungary not playing that badly. Atar on the baseline, that is a soft shot. It is, you don't typically see, I would say, that kind of shooting form from a big like Hatar, but, you know, she made 67% of her shots, so clearly she's a shooter. Evans gets down low. Took advantage of the mismatch uh, against Raksiani, and Hatar was there but didn't go for the block. Shiny hands it off. Scooter. No look into Varga. Marcel's guarding her. Back out to Studer. And now up ahead again. And this has drives in and is fouled by the Bernadette Which for me, if I'm Qatar, I know you want to play every ball and you want to try and prevent the easy basket. Break opportunity for Slovenia, but that's her second foul, and I mean, it goes both ways for Slovenia. You see, that is a foul. I think she should have let that go, and that's her second foul. Now you see her on the bench, and I do think actually for both these teams, their weaknesses is, is the center post position, so you can't afford two early fouls first six minutes into the game. 
Slovenia continue to pour in the points already today. Sweden in Group B winning uh, convincingly over Montenegro. 67 uh, to 51 that was Group B. And also in Group B, France winning 74 to 61 over the Czech Republic. Ball goes out of bounds after the miss and will stay at this end. Jump shooter. No, and you also don't want to put them in the middle of the line. Every foul from here on out, even if it's a shot or not a shot for Slovenia in this quarter, is going to be two free throws. And that's something Hungary has to realize and say, okay, you know what? We still have four minutes and 15 seconds left in the first quarter. We don't necessarily have the deepest of benches. We can't afford to just give up fouls like that. And this time the ball rebounded by the veteran Horty. Great national team uh, while starting a family and now, now back in the national, national team. And we're getting some minutes here in the first quarter. Here's Horty. Backs away in. Puts it up and that was a very important basket. He is threatening to open up a huge lead here. All that momentum. Bodic drives in, and despite looking like she had the ball blocked, still made the layup. Former Fibi Europe Young Player of the Year. Now, Yvonne Turner. The ball rattles out, and Sike's uh, going to get a timeout. The next dead ball. So the pass goes off the hands of Slovenia. Slovenia got a break in the play as uh, Norbert Sike calls the timeout. Marcellus couldn't quite catch that. Sophia Varga in for Hungary. For Slovenia, Spadic, Evans, Lisec, Oblak, and Presha. Presha. Now, Yvonne Turner again splits the defense and earns a foul. And that could be a uh, development here with Turner. Pushing her. 
Hungary, goes out. Forkisic comes back into the game. Hattar also back into the game. This is what I mean. They're not deep in the post position, so you've got to give Varga a rest. You have to. It's a long game. This game is important. Both these teams want to try and get the win, and that's what I was talking about. You have to know that as a player as well. Okay, you know what? We're not deep in this position. I need to watch. You still got to play aggressive, but you can't, in my opinion, that second foul for Hattar. She should have just let it up. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Hungary get it back to five with the free throws. And with their two bigs in the game, you wonder if they're going to go down low to them next time down. Particularly Rorty, who looked really tough on that one move. Oblak, though, gets in and just shoots right over Hattar. I think that's good recognition by Oblak as well, saying, you know, if I go after Hattar, maybe she'll block me here and there. But then she's got to kind of swipe and jump, and maybe you'll force her into that third foul as well. Turner. Oh, that's just shaking and baking right there from Yvonne Turner. You just get the feeling looking at her in this last couple of minutes that she feels like she can go to the rack. Yeah, absolutely. You saw Coach Norbert of Hungary in the timeout show you, hey, we need to set screens for Turner. We need to let her go and attack and create for us on offense. That time, Hattar got to swat, but I think a little bit of a collision with uh, her teammate, Dubé. Watch this. No, it wasn't. She just wasn't able to put it. That's the skill. It's great to get the block, but it's even better when you get the block and the ball. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Norbert Sinkade saying yesterday how his Rakshani goes out. Now he really does think uh, Bernadette Hattar has, has uh, a huge upside for the future. They're looking for her to develop, to continue to develop. First with Dorka Juras in this uh, lineup for Hungary. And they'll be even more potent. Here's Nika Bonic. The rebound. Dorka Juras was you know, looking to be in this team and to be a real weapon for Hungary, but uh, got injured during the preparations and returned to the U.S. where she's uh, played for Ohio State. For the Buckeyes. Now the ball turned over. And quickly to the other end. And the miss. And now Von Turner has it for Hungary. Kavina was uh, the person who missed that shot. Now from deep, Hungary. So free throw is coming for Hungary and Forti. So came while she was being boxed out on oh, Yakovina. So Horty, the veteran, goes to the line and makes the first one. What a great uh, story, her coming back into the national team, and clearly you can see her value coming off the bench here in this first quarter. Yeah, and I think just her, you know, she only has four points so far, but right away, as soon as she checked in, she set a screen, she rolled, she realized she had a good set, they did a great job of getting her the ball, she was able to shoot over Evans from a Slovenia who's a little shorter than her and you can just see it in her communication and her talking to her teammates that she is the leader of this team and she is a veteran and they know that they look at her they respect her when she talks they listen to what she says well, she's got a lot of experience no doubt and a foul out on the perimeter and we talk about those players with yearly women experience and she's one of them This Hungarian team really has an excellent lead. They really do. They have a few teams EuroLeague. They have a few more teams who are Euro Cup. So a lot of these women do have great experience all year round playing in Hungary, in the leagues that they play in, on the teams. I mean, you know, you talk about Hatar. Yeah, she, she plays in Shop. She's played in Shop on the last four years. Hasn't played big minutes, but just going up against some of the best every day in practice as well. Makes her a better player. Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you what, they hosted the early women final four this year in Chopin, and that was just uh, something uh, amazing. 
saw them practicing. Well, we saw them uh, taking some of those yesterday. I won't say practicing. 25-22, uh, Slovenia lead Hungary at the end of one here in Nice. Started to go in, they realized they had an opportunity. Well, what is the biggest surprise, if there are any, for you uh, from this first quarter? I know what mine is. You know, honestly, I'm surprised at the pace of this game. I know neither of these teams, I would say, are really close dominant, so they are looking to run. The guards are looking to run. But 22 points and 25 points from Hungary and Slovenia in the first quarter. We're looking at a 100-point game. Yeah. Either team could have a 100-point game. And I'm really, I like it. It's enjoyable. It's very fun to watch. I don't know if they're going to be able to keep it up. Yeah, I think that is a great observation. You talk about two teams, I mean, possibly Slovenia coming into this with a little bit bigger reputation. Uh, but, yeah, they have really offensively exceeded expectations. And particularly for me, uh, Bernadette Hattar, I did not expect her to come out and knock down those mid-range jump shots. She's, you know, she's, a, she's a weapon. Yeah, and she has a height advantage, and I think it's great that they are looking to her, and she's shooting it with confidence. And another surprise, uh, it looked like Hungary were almost on the ropes there. They came back nice, uh, cut it to one, and actually had a chance to take the lead. But here they are down three. And Atar goes up. And the more you watch her play, the more you see the possibilities of what she can bring for Hungarian basketball. Pass. A little too hard. It's the right idea. It is the right idea, and, and it 
Tatar had it been able to catch it, it actually would have been an easy two points. It's what Norwich uh, Sike said, you know, we are going to get her the ball, but we've got to get it to her in the right positions, and you know, she's got to, we've got to make it so she can catch it. Another turnover. Miss Scooter. Bouvet, right now you feel like Hungary growing in self-belief. I thought. Great defense. That's the lead is number 10, Tina Yakovina. And you know, I talked about the pace and how I'm surprised that Slovenia have already put up 25 points. Just, they didn't average, they never scored more than 70 in the last year's basketball. So, for them to already have 25, I mean, they're they're already getting prepared to break their own record for most points in a game for Slovenia at a Eurobasket. So clearly, this is a team that I, I think had a chance to win one more game at the last one, maybe move on to you know the qualification for the quarterfinals. But they're two years more experienced, and that's showing here today. Christos picks up the foul. Turner's back in the game. The floor general. Bottled lightning. And now turnover battling for position with foul called on Orti. Just scrapping away in the paint. Players for Slovenia back in, back in the game. Puskovets over to Lisette. She's long and Studer. And this time the ball goes off the hands. Again, it's the right idea. Porti, uh, again, this time not able to catch it. Yeah. It was a good look. It was definitely the right idea. I think Horty just didn't have her balance yet. She wasn't able to get a good hand, two hands on the ball to be able to go up. It was a difficult pass. I mean, if she had caught that, you and I would have said, wow. You're right. Well, nice drive. Briskovitz. Look up to a five point advantage now. Scooter looks now. Horty not afraid to put it up. Triskovitz with the rebound. They've got some players that can rebound and run, don't they? Triskovitz is one of them. Oblak, nice dunk down low to Lisic! because she was double teamed there but she was able to gather keep the ball high there were two guards on her who tried to come and take the ball away and just have that realization oh you know what I have a height advantage I'm going to keep the ball high and I'm going to score Johnny banks it in can she call that Oh, Black, right down the paint. <laughs> that was just, if you watch that from the beginning, that was beautiful ball handling and a nice finish with her left hand, her off hand as well. Why do you think oh, Slovenia are yeah. able to get so much joy out of, out of their penetration today? Because they have gotten what they wanted driving to the basket. And it's beautiful basketball. Foul on Oblak. <laughs> And, you know, again, I think that reach in by Oblak, that's her second foul. She has 10 points for the Slovenian team. 
Turner wasn't going anywhere. She wasn't going to the basket. She was running, you know, okay, she was on the left-hand side, but she wasn't going to score. I think it's a silly, it's a silly foul when you're a leader and one of the best players. Now they picked up another one, and very soon Hungary uh, are going to be shooting free throws. We, you know, we saw we saw Slovenia shooting free throw. They were in bonus with four minutes left in the first, and now uh, she can't give up on a Hantar. She does. It's a mental mistake, and leads to a layup for Slovenia. Talk about mental mistake, and I think that might also have to do with a little bit of fatigue. I mean, these players have already played a lot of minutes so far, and you still have 25 and a half minutes left in the game. I would not be surprised if Norbert Sike gives uh, Hatar the hair dryer treatment for this right here. He just stopped, didn't chase back to get the ball, and it led to a layup for but this edge. Look at this. I mean, this, this Slovenian team, that's what you like to see. That's what, you know, they know they have to do everything to get a win. And hustling and making a play like that is what can separate you at the end of the game. Ten turnovers, that's a real problem for Hungary. And those two points uh, on that turnover. Now they have five fast break points. Ten turnovers is just way too many. We still have five minutes left in the second quarter. You don't want to average 25, 25, 30 turnovers a game. So that's something that they're going to have to address. And that's what's leading to the great field goal percentage. 50% from Slovenia, 80 points in the first in the paint. <laughs> Those are the reasons. It's because they're able to get kind of, you know, that transition, semi-transition type scores. And it's because of the pace that they're playing, which I think is great. It's exciting. Double-digit lead of the game now, and it's owned by Slovenia to come out firing here in this second quarter. Coming up on the midway point, and Rakshani drives, gets blocked, but Hatar there for the putback, and she's fouled. And, you know, we see Slovenia with a 11-point lead right now, but it's exactly what they did in the first quarter. They came out great. They jumped up to a little bit of a lead, but then Hungary kept their cool and came back. And I think that's what we're going to see. You know, we see Hatar there staying with the ball, staying with the rebound, sorry, and able to get to the free throw line for an opportunity for two points. You feel right now Hungary are teetering, don't you? So this is a crucial part of the game. For them, they they don't want to fall too far behind before halftime. Man. This is now and never time for them. Just one of two for Hatar. So that'd be perfect at the line for that. So that's their first miss in ten attempts. This edge from deep follows up the shot and a break for Hungary as this edge missed it. down low and drives in again and she's a real weapon folks once she has the ball in her hands look out she is and you know she's already played over 11 minutes in this game she only averages around nine minutes during the regular season and there she gets the block and forces the turnover and turner just explodes hatar hustles down great effort by hatar that time you know what? I bet Coach Norbert said something to her after she didn't hustle back and Slovenia was able to get, Lisa was able to hustle down and get that. You know, Hatar thought the ball was going to go in the backcourt and it was going to go out of bounds. Lisa hustled down, gets to early points. I bet you she was talking to with a timeout 
and said, hey, you need to pick it up. This is your die for us. Every game counts. And that's what she's come out and started to do since that mental mistake she made a few minutes ago. Uh, looks like she's going to the changing room. I don't know if she needs a bathroom break or some treatment. She does have those two fouls. A jump shot attempt, and this edge goes up, not able to bring it down. From a rebounding standpoint, 17 rebounds for Hungary. Just 12 for Slovenia, but... Uh, Slovenia do have six offensive rebounds. Which, you know, if you think about it, from Hungary to only be down eight points, they have those ten turnovers and they've given up six offensive rebounds. It's actually not that bad. But they, if, you, if you break it down and look at those little mistakes that I think that they've already made, to only be down eight, you have to feel okay. But Shani at the line. He's edge with the board. Took out the pass. Now Evans is back in, goes under for the reverse, misses. And Jordan Horthy did a great job of knocking the ball out of the hands of, the hand of Evans, and then Evans commits the foul. Watch this. I think uh, did a good job of selling it. I think she sold it a little. I think from a ref standpoint, that was an aggressive slap by Evans. Yeah. Even if it was ball, it was very aggressive, and I think it was almost a little retaliation. I think Evans thought that she was fouled, one on the catch, and then on her reverse layup attempt as well, and she was frustrated. It's kind of one of those frustration moves. And, and trying to really, you know, those early fouls that were picked up by Slovenia, now they're here in the bonus. Clock has stopped. They're at the free throw line where they've been making their free throws, and they've got a chance to chip away. Both free throws. They did an excellent job at the line today, making 11 of their 12 free throws. And to already have been 12 times is, is quite a lot as well. So you don't really, you know, you're Slovenia, you don't want to give them any more chances. A great double team there, and forcing the turnover. And that was uh, number 51 for Hungary, Dorina Zele. Helped out, Horty. Watch this. Got a hand on the ball. May have actually, may have actually been more contact though on that play than there was when Evans knocked the ball away. Yeah, you know, I think maybe the refs could have called a foul there because it was a lot of arm with the ball. But we've seen this already in, in you know, the first and the second quarter here. The refs are letting them play. Yeah, I like. I, I think they're doing a good job. I don't have a problem with. What it's even. You know, yeah. if it was one sided, yeah, that's when coaches, you know, can, can start to complain. But I think they're letting things go and letting them be aggressive both sides. There's full court pressure there. Hungry beat it. Marina Zelle. Horthy now gets it over to Von Turner. Nebraska. The Cornhusker State. Shooter from deep. Hits the three. Boy, that is big time. Me for the second time in the game, Hungary reeling has all they've done. They've come back and reeled it back in. And I'm not sure if that's a little bit of a mental breakdown by Arich there going underneath. It was a brief hit. Second chance, points, bench points, three, three even. Down. Three down. Hey, watch out, Ben, and watch out, open shooter, okay? Okay. 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 Okay.
who goes to work, turns, and misses the shot. He's in great position. Horty gets it to Yvonne Turner, who takes the bump, and Evan hustles down and knocks the pass away. Great hustle by the Slovenian big. Hungry. 
Well, decided edge on the boards for Hungary. You saw there with those stats, both teams struggling for three-point range. But Ivan Turner with those six points and four assists. And what I like about it, uh, Shona, is she's not forcing anything in terms of her shot. You know, she's she is a scoring point guard who has a passing point guard's mentality. I mean, she can do it all. Yeah, she really is. A, and that's why... They naturalized her and they brought her in. They know her value. They've seen her value playing with the last three years with Chaperone, two years in a row at the final four. Oh, beautiful defense from Hungary. Hungarian yeah. fans, they outnumber the Hungarian fans here. And, uh, they're probably a little bit surprised the way that Hungary has come back. And now Turner puts it off. Boy, that would have uh, put Hungary in front. For so. And to Evans, get bumped by Zele. Over to a wide open Lisech at the line. Doesn't get the shooter bounce. And then an offensive foul. Crash of the boards. Trying to follow the shot. So Hungary here with an opportunity to tie the basketball game. Watch the fight for the rebound after she misses the shot. She goes in. Evans in there scrapping away with Horty. I think it looked like Horty to me. He got a push. Maybe got away with a push. But yeah, they called a foul on Evans. So yeah, that makes sense. They called it early. Kind of cleared her out. one line and not making one free throw. It made most of them today. Messervania quite possibly could hold it for the last shot. And a foul called. So now Slovenia will get free throws. So a few times Hungary have had the opportunity to pull even or take the lead. And the foul was uh, called on Lele. So Nika Baric has been very quiet first half for, for Baric. This is the first free throw. Well, you know, you, you and I saw them practicing yesterday, and we didn't see that tape on her right hand in practice. So I'm not sure if something happened in practice. Maybe it was a lighter practice and she felt like she didn't need to, to tape whatever's going on, but it's a lot of tape on your shooting. That's a good point. Well, so Hungary going to try to hold for one here. Javon Turner. Gets in the lane, puts it up. No, she tried. I don't know if she was trying to pass or shoot, or shoot it. He's saying she was hit. Referee says, let's go to the bench. Go to halftime. Three point lead for Slovenia. 39 36 at halftime. Both giving up six offensive rebounds, nine assists. 
emphasis. I really, the biggest thing for me if I'm hungry is the turnovers. And here you see, you know, we saw Hatar with those eight points, which is 11 for Slovenia. Uh, you know, Old Black had those eight first quarter, eight points in the first quarter, he slowed down, cooled off a little bit in the second. But so far, it's been a great game. I think it's been exciting. I think it's been for two teams that, you know, Hungary barely qualified for this event. Slovenia did, but this is only their second time at a Eurobasket event. You know, that they're not... The men's team is known for basketball, but the women's team isn't really known for basketball in Slovenia yet. And I think they've been incredibly exciting to watch. They came out early in the first and second quarter. Hungary did a good job of staying cool, staying calm, and going on a run themselves. And those who have been watching, this has absolutely been a basketball game that's all about the runs, and it's been fun to watch. Well, couldn't have said it any better myself. So 39-36. Shona and I will take a break, and we'll be right back before the start of the second half.
39-36, Slovenia on top of Hungary. Taya Oblak, you can see she's had quite an impact today for Slovenia. That's no surprise because 10 points and 3 assists. Yeah, and you know, I think she's a big reason why Slovenia has that small 3-point lead. She did have the early 8 points in the first quarter. She did slow down a little bit in the second. Uh, but, you know, we didn't really see her, her youth bomb up in the second quarter. Uh, I think it was just, you know, less aggressiveness on her part. And then here we have uh, Bernadette Matar, who 8 points, 3 of 4 shooting, 7 rebounds. And she almost has a double-double at halftime. And, you know, Coach Nerber is just saying she has a lot of upside. And he thinks that she is only going to get better. And what a great start, I think, for a young player who hasn't played a ton of minutes uh, on their pro team, their club team during the year. Yeah, she, she has been around, you know, for this Hungarian team for a few years now, a few Eurobaskets, but I wouldn't say has never, she's never been, you know, the center, and now she's getting an opportunity, and I think she's doing a great job of taking on that role. Yeah, and I have to... I have to say that Nora and Sike uh, perhaps uh, played down her capabilities a little bit talking to her yesterday, saying that she knows where she needs to be, and she knows you know, she's got the mind for the game, but uh, somebody's kind of suggesting that she, she might have her struggles, but really, she might have the best jump shot on the court today. Absolutely. I was just about to say that, that shooter's touch from a big player, her height, that we've already seen, you know, knocking down shots from the outside, outside the paint. She did shoot, keep in mind, she shot 67%. efficient at it. So uh, I think it's a great start. I just, you know, I talked earlier at the end of the first quarter about the pace. Oh, There's Rasho Nasterovic, the uh, on the left there. The former uh, star of Slovenia's national team, or one of, of the many stars, the former captain uh, for so many years. Of course, now uh, Rasho Nasterovic uh, heavily involved in Slovenian basketball uh, with their federation. And, uh, is the Secretary General, so and who's sitting there with uh, Matej Ajavic, the, uh, the president. So this is all two of the heavyweights uh, in that federation, of course, uh, Rasha Nesterovic. Do you remember him? I don't. He was also played in the NBA for many years. And I believe he signed off from the national team at the FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament back in 2008. But anyway, second half action underway. And Hungary with an opportunity to start things off. Here's Hatar. And Zele drives in and found the perimeter by Lisech. Wow. And you know, I've been talking all game. I was talking the first half where I think fouls are the team for both these teams who are not necessarily deep on the bench. Any foul by your starters is very significant. Well, missing down low. Snapping away and trying to get the, the ball back uh, with Hungary's number 18, Lelic. Probably a reverse layup that she uh, would like to have back and to do it again. So, missed opportunities and now Oblak and Slovenia bring it the other way. And the jump and the power could be unsportsmanlike. Certainly, Slovenia are appealing for it. 
and it maybe they go over and look at it. Yep, they are. They're going to go look at it. And was it on Rakshani? It's the question. I think it the last foul is what we call. Okay, so we can hear the referee. My opinion here, here I want to see this. This, this is better. I don't think they're going to call it on that evidence. Go, go. Yes. Huh? Yes, because it's uh, from both sides. From uh, it's unfortunate, like I call it. Eh? Okay, who, yeah. who is the number? Who is the number? The number. Yeah. Are they going to call it? I think they are. Number five. So they have called it. White. I didn't think they were going to call it because I thought her hand was in there and then the motion began. But. So, at the beginning, I don't think it was unsportsmanly. Yeah. Um, I think it was a foul, but I think she was definitely going for the ball. But at the end, you saw her grab the arm. And I think that's, you know, they're looking at the end of the, the play and saying, well, the continuation of it, you, you clearly grabbed her arm. And you have to be careful about that. And, you, you know, refs now have the the advantage of going to replay and making the correct decision. Well, 
Shona, it has been three jump shots, really, that have kind of uh, taken command here for Slovenia. Bodic hit a three-pointer. Evans hit a long two just in front of the arc. And following that, Pressel hit a three. And just like that, those eight points coming from those jumpers, and it's a 13-point advantage. Really, Jeff, on that one unsportsmanlike play from uh, uh, Rakshani. Richard, yes, her name. They have two fouls in that possession, two free throws, and they hit a three-pointer. I mean, that's incredibly costly. And that was really unlucky for Hungary because Akar did a great job of catching the basketball, scoring, but the ruling was that the foul was before the shot. Okay, look at this. Yeah, I think that's just a great job by, by Hattar. Nice pass, a nice cover. Fine, like you said, but it was the catch. And I guess it was kind of a smart move on Sabanian to say, and it's foul was before the shot. Yeah, they don't even get free throws, so... Hungry now, to the three attempt. Akar there for the offensive rebound and put back. She's everywhere, folks. I tell you what, offensive rebounds like that can keep them in this basketball game. Yeah, you know, it's your... Necessary foul, in my opinion, for someone who's somewhat of a leader on this team. We need her to step up and make some plays. There's Badich again, another three, this time off target, and Hatar battling away for the ball but doesn't corral it, and it leaves. Oh, Black! Oh, the second opportunities are killers! Look at this. Hatar catching it down low. Great pass by Zelle. And she has really opened eyes today, folks. 14 points, 8 rebounds. If she really catches it in a position to score, really, no matter where it is, 2, 3 meters close to the basket. Excuse me, Yakovina hit that, hit that jump shot over Hatar. Look at this. This time denied. And jump ball has been called for a break for Hungary. Marina Zene. Scooter for three. And just like that, Hungary showing some signs of life from deep. The second three. Baric. Hands it off. Presells for three. And 14. Over to Scooter. Slowed by Baric. And bumped by Lesson. Three team fouls on Slovenia. And why are you giving the foul that far away from the basket? I mean, she did a pretty good job of making her catch it outside the paint. I know it's a hard. She started the screen break. She's continued on in this third quarter. But that's her third foul now. And oh, what a great move. Great move by Hattar. I'm not taking away from the move, but. I think Lissick was less aggressive because she knows she has three fouls where I, I think the foul that she just she just got was unnecessary. Well, Lissick catches it now and goes up. Great composure. Oh, and here, you know, smart move by, by Slovenia. Shot for three going into that zone because they need to protect this And 
miss but very makeable shot by Yakubina a, a, a let off there for Hungary. I feel like if Studer gets an opening, she's gonna launch one. Here she is, she puts it up and fouled by Yakubina. So three free throws a break for Hungary. Shooter going to the free throw line. Was it? Did she get hit on the follow through? Does it look like she missed it? Here it is again. Watch this. Yeah, she just kind of grazed, kind of grazed on the hand. Yeah, that, you know that's one of those where. Shooter's a, a shooter, so you want to contest every shot. You know, I, I don't. If I'm a defender, I think I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to play defense again like that because I don't think that call will be called against me more than once. In a while. Shooter takes full advantage to cut that deficit back to eight points. Now Baric putting up the jumpers here in this third quarter. Baric goes in and did a good job. She's uh, she's able to absorb contact and still get a good shot up. She made one of those in the first first half, and that time uh, the ball went off with Hot Dog. Even with Hot Dog in there, they're attacking the basket. Here's Baric again. Playing. Very influential here in this quarter, and Oblak again. Three-pointer. Boy, she has been money in the bank. 18 points. Four of four from three-point line. Yeah, it's exactly like her first quarter. You know, she, she eight points in that first quarter. She's had ten, finished with ten. She already has eight points in this quarter. I, it's exactly what they need, and we talked about this Slovenia had four people score in uh, double figures at the last 2017 Eurobasket. And it's exactly those same people who are stepping up and scoring for them now. And this is what they need to do for them to be able to get a win against Hungary. If they can also stop Hatar, who just keeps adding to her point total. Well, she misses the second. Now... Another jumper and all the white shirts under the basket, but it's Giovanni that comes up with the rebound. And you know, Yakovina, excuse me. Slovenia clearly have a height disadvantage. Baric pushed off with her right forearm there. <laughs> tell you, Baric. Really uh, stood out in this third quarter, hasn't she? Yes. You know, we talked that she was kind of quiet in the first half. Um, she only took three shots in the first half. I don't think she was necessarily very aggressive. I think she was letting the game. I'm sorry, she took two shots in the first half. Uh, and here in the second half, I bet you coach or someone talked to her and said, hey, we need you to step up, and that's what she started. I think she's just being more aggressive here in the third Atar, beautiful pass from her. Wow. They've got away with a foul, Hatar there reaching over. Ovaric says, puts it up and knocks it in. They have just been lights out in the third quarter. But Dora Horthy chases it down in the corner. And Studer <laughs> saw the shot clock winding down, so launched it from a long way out. Hunter's still in it, down by 10 points, but they've got to get some stops. Savini has been really uh, drilling shots from the perimeter in this third quarter. Again, this is this time to Evans and Evans. She, you know, I, 
know Evans well. She she played in uh, France this year, and she has such. Evans, I think, has excellent hands. She can catch almost any ball that is in somewhere near her region, and she has a great touch. For her height, she knows how to use her body and be able to, to keep the defense, defense away from her and being able to get up. Uh, this touch is uh, holding her, is it her ankle or her calf? And she's an obvious uh, pain down there. And you know, um, I, I saw her two possessions ago turn to coach and say, hey, I need a sub. And yeah. they actually had someone at the table who I believe was waiting to come in and take her out. And okay, let's take a look here. She, I mean, she didn't land awkwardly, Doesn't but... Doesn't look like an ankle. No, it's a calf. I think she's um, holding her left calf. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, we talked earlier. It's warm in here. You have to be careful for cramps. You have to make sure you're staying hydrated. Um, I mean, you, these are those situations where you say, okay, I need a banana at halftime for, you know, potassium. Watch out for cramps. You need to really make sure you're hydrated. You just, you really need... I want it to be only a cramp because you would hate to see Slovenia have to hold on to a 10-point lead in this game and not have a, one of their best players out there. And like I said, they, they're not strong in the post, so to not have her... She's walking on very gingerly. Looks like it's that left leg or left calf. For uh, a little skio in Italy, 24 years of age, and uh, you know, we talk about their shortcomings, perhaps not that great deep. Not a good sign. Look, look at this. Look, look who Hatar is guarding <laughs> right now on the court. I mean, it's almost okay. Well, we just saw Hatar now go on to Evans, but I mean. Really starting to take over. This is that one. And right here, you have to, I think, play a kind of matchup zone, and you really need to box out. And you kind of got to go bank on the fact that Hungary haven't shot the three incredibly well in the first half. Um, they started to make a couple here in the second. You know, they they are only two of the third team. Both her hands, right or left handed. And bump on Slovenia, so with 37.2 seconds remaining in the third quarter right now, it's a nine point lead for Slovenia. Really, the best quarter offensively. How they seem, just seem to be able to do anything they want at the other end of the floor. You know, and they just started knocking out outside shots. Okay, this is the first. And you know, right here, you got to have your outside guards for Slovenia going and rebounding down because Hungary has such a height advantage. You don't want to give up an offensive rebound on a free throw. You know, she made the free throw. Dubai made the free throw, so it's not possible. But it really, it looks like Japan's side for this Hungarian team. Fourth to right foul, the second time in the game this has been called against Hungary. And again, so the, you actually, we, I think the refs are going to replay to make sure that they get this call correct. And an unsportsmanlike from the down, from oh, down. Ghost, ghost with the, this. Aha, the, this is the best. Huh? I don't think so. I don't think yeah, so. He tried to play the ball. It's not a yeah. ball. hard contact. He didn't pass. It is in the middle, you know? Yes, for me it's a small. Yes, yes, for me it's a small. For me, we have like this tense situation. This is my opinion. I think, uh, I think it's normal. My opinion is normal. One more time. Look, he go, he tried to play the ball. He didn't grab. 
He didn't grab. Let's put it from there, yes. You understand me? No. Look, yes, 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 yes. no problem. Yeah, he's going to play the ball, to make a defense. Boom. Only two. Yes, but doesn't matter. Like this, we have 20. This, my opinion is normal. Okay? Normal. Number 11. I show. I show number 11. So they're not going to call it. 11. And they just call it a normal foul because she was playing the ball and she didn't grab. And that's when it's good that they, uh, again, they take their time to look at it and make it the correct call because it's obviously some final. I mean, you know, her team was going to foul. She wanted to foul. She wanted to stop the drive. We know you're... Oh. Yeah, oh, oh, goes in. And you know what I love is that this just went down, and Evan said, okay, I need to step up, and that's what she's done, you know, the last two offensive possessions. Cooper has it, final seconds, ticking off the clock, she's going to launch a three, no, she's going to drive, gets it to Hatar. oh, that was a great play right at the end, but Hatar, a rare miss for her. And Slovenia, with 10 minutes remaining, lead this contest 69-59 to 59 over Hungary. Quick look at the stats. Six of 12 from deep for Slovenia. That has been huge. Their offense has been clicking in the third quarter. Slovenia's best quarter of the game uh, 30 points offensively anyway it was their best quarter um, and it was also offensively Hungary's best quarter it's 23 points but Slovenia able to extend their lead and, and the question how do you stop Slovenia now offensively because they were getting anything they wanted They made four threes in that one quarter, which which is big. Uh, but it's also, I think, Slovenia, they're playing with this great pace. They set it at the end of the first quarter. I don't know if they'll be able to keep it up, but I just like the pace that they play with. Even if it's not transition, it's a semi-transition. Their offense moves. Their offense is fast. And they're able to drive and attack, which I think then starts to open things up on the three-point on the three-point lane. But you know what? In that third quarter, they also had a couple of three attempts in a semi-transition type situation. So if I'm hungry, you have to realize and know where shooters are and expect that Slovenia wants to play fast and want to shoot fast. Well, I thought out of the game, Horty in. She will have the responsibility of dealing with Evans. And then Evans, a little slow, uh, setting that screen or that pick called the... Uh, Moving screen. Uh, you can see she's uh, going all out right now. That's a big call. That's number four on her. So if, if a big if, if Hungary could somehow get her out of the game, that might enhance their chances of a comeback. You know, Evans is experienced. Zele pulls it off. Oh, beautiful play by Dorina Zele. Just really, you don't want to see Slovenia be without their two post players who have played significant minutes for them, who are two leaders, who are two scorers for a team that doesn't have a lot of posts. This time they're trying to get it to Evans. And now a foul called on Pressel. Pressel, so that's two fouls already. And again, uh, if they pick up some early fouls and Hungary can get into bonus, that could help them get to the free throw line. That much going on there with that foul, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, beautiful pass, and it's Dene with the layup. Great play by Deborah Duvay. Just like that, hungry now, trailing by six. And you know, typically so far in this game, every the beginning of every quarter, we've seen Sylvania come out and do a great job, get some easy baskets, build their lead. Hungary always came back in the second part. But now it's kind of the reverse. If you wonder if this is going down at the end of that third quarter, if momentum's changing. But the difference now is, uh, again, a missed shot. We were hardly missing anything in that third quarter. I would think another basket might get a timeout call by Slovenia. Zele puts it up from deep, follows up the miss, gets it back, puts it up, and it's good! And just like that, Hungary have battled back and trailed by just four points. They are refusing to go away. And Hungary did this with Hatar and Yvonne Turner on the bench. So that's a great sign if you're Hungary. Well, how big has Zele been coming in? Really playing aggressively. Yeah, I mean, great pull up jumper on the last possession here. Wide open three point look. She misses, follows her shot. Good offensive rebound. Two points. Plays her basketball in Hungary. And you know, Jeff, at the beginning of the third, we saw that 12-2 run. There you see Blissett getting, I think it's her calf. You know, that, that the trainer there is definitely doing a calf Achilles type uh, stretch on her. Um, you know, she is, she's behind the bench somewhere getting treated. Great I don't know if that was his daughter who went up to the for a kiss. 24 years old. Possibly. Possibly. My mom was 22. She gave birth to me. Many years ago. That third quarter, we saw Slovenia start the fourth quarter 12 to 2. And now it's kind of a 6 0 run for Hungary at the beginning of this quarter. What a drive to the basket by Presto. She has been great for them in this second half. We've seen her knock down threes. We've seen her knock down two point jump shots. After a dribble, we've seen her right there take it all the way to the layup. Well, she's in attack mode. Horty bumped out on the perimeter by Priskovitz. Or is it Yakovina? Sorry, Yakovina. And that's her fourth foul. And falls in and shoots. Horty takes the ball, passes it back outside. Deborah DeBay. Three pointer! You know, it looks like a uh, maybe it's kind of in a matchup zone or, or sort of a man to man. Oh, and look at the steal by Zele. Goes in, great hustle back by Taya Oblak. Boy, that is two points. And those are the hustle moves that you need to do. It was a silly turnover. She knew it was just a relaxed pass. She wasn't really, you know, that was definitely her fault. But right here, you see her get all ball, hustle all ball. back, ball is there. But that's what you need to do to win these kind of games. You need to do the hustle plays. And just like that as well, a three-pointer by... So that is a five point swing. That is a potential uh, deciding point in the game, right there, folks. Norbert Sike was uh, thinking there's a foul, but no, the, the video evidence showed otherwise. Uh, Shani misses, and again, Slovenia. Oh boy, the momentum is shifted right back to the team. Has been about runs. Evan steps into the three. Are they call that two or three. Hungary called 
timeout. It was indeed a two. So they were knocking on the door, hungry, but just like that, they fall back behind by nine points. situation shown up and that you know I, I think you know I just talked about how she's an experienced player for them I think she's a great player that in my opinion was incredible big mental breakdown you have to know you have four fouls that's clearly a foul you, you, you wrapped around her I know you have a disadvantage in height, but that now, this would be a momentum throw, really. Evans going out. You have no close players coming off the bench with experience for Slovenia. And Yvonne Turner goes right to the basket. Now Oblak at the other end. I mean, wow, their guards need to step up right now and, and carry this team because... Vodic trips up Turner. And Hungary's in bonus with 542 and when you're down the best thing that you can do is get to the free throw line because you stop the clock and you have an opportunity to score baskets Actually, and, and I think that was on Oblak she was the one that tripped her yes you, you know this this it's a scary situation you have a nine point lead but Hungary every foul from here on out is, is going to be shooting you're at a height disadvantage. Matar has checked in. She had a good long break uh, uh, at the beginning of this quarter. And she should be refreshed and feeling good. So, and we've also, we've Evans also, is also on the bench, too. And we've also seen Turner start to come to life here offensively. That's five quick points for her. Oblak now has three fouls. been called on Dorina Zelle. Like, like her effort in the second half, she's really helped Hungary stay in the contest. They need to stop here. Got it. Got wasn't a pump fake, but got her defender off her feet, and then Hungary not able to grab the ball. You know, for, for the size that Slovenia has, they have done a great job of getting to the offensive basket. I mean, right there, it's not, you know, it's a team offensive rebound, but... Here's another jump shot, and good position by Slovenia, but the box out didn't keep Hungary from coming up with a basketball. 
Turner again drives in, puts it up and in, and she fouled. This is seven quick points for Turner, and she will go to the line. She had six points in the first half. She was only two for seven. She was kind of quiet in the third, to be honest, but how she she's taken over since she's checked into the game right now. Pretzels picks up the foul. I mean, what I like about Turner is she does not force it, but she also knows when it is time to shift gears. And right now it's time. And the scary thing is, is there's five minutes left in this game. Freshells, who's had a great second half for them, has 11 points. She has four fouls as well. So the fouls have accumulated for Slovenia. They've lost Evans. My function of the clock start. Now, yeah, go. a chance to see a, a potential go. unsportsmanlike foul. Here. Here. Yes. Yes, yes. How can we count? Three seconds. Oh, okay, so, so two pa one one pass, one pass, four seconds. Oh, no, because one pass means four seconds. It was five minus one, so two, four, no, four seconds. They just want to say how much time seconds. should be off the clock. That means five zero three. Five zero three. No, it was no, nine. Five zero nine. Nine. Five. Five zero nine. nine. Ah, that means five seconds. Five, five. zero four. Five. five zero four and nineteen seconds on the clock on the thirty four. Was in the front. Oh. Yes. 19 seconds. We can't go five. Five seconds down. Five. Hide it. 19 seconds, 24. 504. 504. Hide it, go. So there'll be five minutes and four seconds on the game clock and 19 seconds on the shot clock. It should put 504 on. The game clock, and that's what they're going to tell them, I think. And you know, if I'm Slovenia, you want as many game clock seconds to take off as possible because you do have that lead with neither of your things. Remember the free throw line, Hungary 19 of 24 today. They've done a lot of damage there. And already in the bonus, Slovenia 11 of 17. They're without Lisech and they're without Evans. Lisech out with injury. Evans has fouled out. And they've also got some other foul trouble. So the big question is, can Slovenia hold on over this final five minutes, especially with Yvonne Turner starting to shift into overdrive for Hungary? Turner now with 13 points. Hawks are leading the way with 17, as well as Agnes Studer with 17. The quiet 17 is Studer, isn't it? Some free throws and Qatar. Unnecessary foul there. I've seen that time and time again from both these teams. She wasn't going to the basket. Why would you pick up a foul there? The next foul by Hungary also puts Slovenia in bonus. You know, they took away one of her other fouls because uh, she was only. I saw down. that, yeah. Or we thought it was on her. Maybe we just gave it here in the corner, air ball, Turner has it. To pull it out of a gun, races down the floor. I thought he keeps it alive, but good job by Oblak to step in and take the ball away for Slovenia. Now Vardic passes back outside. Pressel gets in the lane. Oh, that's a tough shot, but she misses. And then Hattar has it knocked out of her hands. Great defense. Excited about this Eurobasket women, but this game has absolutely surpassed expectations. It has been tight. 
couple of times Slovenia have opened up double-digit double leads but this Hungary team has refused uh, to throw in the towel they have battled back and with four minutes and 20 seconds remaining they're trailing by four points ten seconds on the shot clock Bodic's looking back to Gorsic, gets it back on Bodic drifts in, takes it back out one. She is right at the top of the key. Another offensive rebound. It's just not possible if you're hungry. Hungry. You can't give up. With the size advantage that you have, you can't give up over shots like that. Here, another one. And it was a killer offensive rebound as well because they punched something with a three pointer. Riskovets drills it. Tara sneaks in and gets the offensive rebound. Starting to pick up the enemy for Hungary here. Turner. Shifty move from her. Lays it up and that was big time. You know, her outside jump shot has a fallen for her. She said, no worries. She's going to take it to the hole. And again, so then you beat it to the ball. Yeah. You know, I think it's, uh, who was it? Well, Oblock is going to launch it. And again, coming over the back this time, the ball goes out of bounds. It was Yakovina keeping it alive. that they get Evans out of the game. They did. Hathar misses the second, but it's a two-point difference. And right now, what you need to do with this Slovenia is you need to work the clock. You need to try and take as much time off the clock, but also still get up a good shot. You don't want to just chuck up shot. That, to me, is a great job. Shot wins. You know, Turner, though, answers with a three to make it a one-point game. Boy, this FIBA Women's Eurobasket 2019 is already shaping up to be 
quite a thrill show. Ozlak almost lost it. Trying to get blocked by Hakan. And the ball goes over to Hungary. I thought it would have gone off of uh, Hungary. Yeah. But, but it might have. Oglak started walking back right away. We, we definitely didn't have a good that. angle. But... Remarkable. Here it is again. Oh, yeah. oh no, it didn't touch anybody. Uh, did it? No. Kind of a crazy shot by Oblak, who's been uh, excellent today. Now Turner, who just hit the three. She's been terrific in the fourth quarter. Another one. Oh, they've taken the lead for the first time today. Unbelievable. It's almost as if I'll tell you what, team. Just wait until the fourth quarter and then give me the keys, and I'm going to try and get a victory. I mean, you know, Hungary's biggest lead of the game was 3-0. <laughs> okay, so they did take the lead. That's right, I forgot. The three-point play by Studer. Yes, to, to start the game, the first play of the game. And, and here, you know, and why is Turner so wide open? Because beginning of this, sorry, what she checked in, in this fourth quarter, she just started driving to the basket kind of out well. It was knocking it down. So now Slovenia water is about to go. And they're a little further off. Jonas uh, Turner has just been she's been a superstar here in this fourth quarter. And you have to say, overall, her approach has been Absolutely correct from start to finish. She never forced it, but when it was go time, it was like, okay, this is where I could really make a difference offensively, and she has done her damage in this fourth quarter. She has 12 points. So <laughs> now, who takes the big shot for Slovenia? They will be reeling if they don't win this game. Remember, they lost a heartbreaker to France on the opening day of last of the last year of Basket Women. Ball bounces out. Pressel gets it. Now, Vodic hands it off. And another three. And this. And Hattar is able to rebound it. And you know, those were actually two really good plugs by Slovenia. I'm not sure if that second three maybe aren't going to take the responsibility and shot. Just yeah. being a leader, being, you know, one of the top scorers for them. It was a great look, but... Turner again, maybe uh, not the best shot from her that time. And Slovenia, though, do not take care of the basketball. Studer knocks it out of the hands, I think, of Pressels. And now it's back into the hands of Hungary. And I'm not sure if the refs, you know, we have the replay here. Let's sure. see. Yeah, oh, no, it was, it was Hatsar. No, it was, it, then it went but, over. Yeah, me. but it was Bernadette Hatsar that reached from behind to yeah. knock the ball. And they will do the correct thing here. They will go and take a look, and that's what they'll see. Hatar reaches in. Okay, ball, and after that, he touches the leg. Very yeah, clear. Yeah. He's the ball by 44, and after that, touches the leg. We have white ball, white ball, white this ball. Is... I call, I call, I call. Shona, Shona, this is just a, a remarkable situation here with Hungary, how they have refused to go away. We saw every quarter, though. They, they really, they got down every quarter, except the beginning of the fourth was their only quarter where I felt like they came out and did a good job and were scoring. And, and wow, have they kind of weathered the storm and Slovenia. You almost, I feel bad for them because Evans is out with five fouls. We saw Lizard go down and the third. Almost the front of the turner. She gets it back. She puts it off. A little finger roll. This is Hatar. Gets it back. Pass back out. Offensive rebound. Hungary now. And the clock continues to tick. And Slovenia have to foul. And they foul Turner. This is Hungary's game to win. It really is. How clutch has Hatar been? She has been unreal. <laughs> she has. I mean, this is, you know. The hustle plays in the, fourth, yeah. in the last couple of minutes by her. She's the reason. They're shooting free throws right now. She caused the turnover. 
And then she got the offensive rebound, and then Slovenia had the foul. The, the, the key moment in this game, when Lissage went out and then Evans fouled out. Yes. There's no question. And Turner makes it a four-point lead for Hungary, which I know they beat the Czech Republic in the last Eurobasket who were hosting it in front of a packed house uh, in Radish Kralova. But you have to say this one is just as impressive, if not more so. I mean, we talked about Slovenia thinking maybe they might be the best team to finish top of this group. commits the foul, stops the clock. And, and you know, this is interesting because if you have good offensive rebounders, you know, maybe one athletic post, you could think about, as I said, making the first, missing the second, trying to get off the offensive rebound, going for a three. But you don't have rebounders. Like, I really... So they need to steal into a chance of three. And they foul Hatar who, with 5.9 seconds remaining, will go to the line. And they want to look at it to see if it was unsportsmanlike. Uh, Norbert Sikay, but I don't think they're going to look at it. No, I mean, everyone knows, the refs know. It, it's strategy. You have to foul. I mean, of course you have to call an intentional foul, but I, in my opinion, she went for the ball. There's no other... She yeah. went for the ball. Maybe she didn't get all ball, but she went for the ball. Atar has really saved uh, the best time to have the biggest moment of her career for Hungary today. But if she misses this, there's still a chance. She takes it to four points. You do not foul while they attempt a the three-pointer here. You back off. Oh, and she did not back off, but she missed the shot. And Greg Shani needs to back off in that situation. Uh, not to give away the potential four-point play opportunity. Hungary, it has to be their most famous win in a long time. And again, they beat the Czechs last time, but this time, I thought this was more impressive. 88 to 84, the Hungarians, a final win. And maybe the coach played the chances. Uh, he certainly sold it to me like they were going to be up against it today, but they have come out, and Hattar has come out, and they won for every play. There's so many players that came out contributing today. Dorina Zene came out off the bench, was crucial in that second half. Just... I mean, MVP of the game has to be Bernadette Hattar. Uh, I think mean, she was solid throughout 40 minutes of the game. She played big minutes, though. She almost played 30 minutes, 21 points, 11 rebounds. That enormous turnover, but I mean, Yvonne Turner in the fourth when oh. she checked in. She took over. And, you know, it's disappointing because I would have liked to see what Slovenia maybe could have done had Evan and Lissich not gone out. Yeah. I think it's just the way the game developed for Slovenia seemed like key things that, had, that they had to avoid. They could not avoid them. Yeah, 
biggest key of all was losing Evans at the end. Yeah. And she was... And it was not a good foul. It was, it was a very solid foul. You have to know the situation. Here you have the stats. Hungary 60%. You know, uh, Slovenia 40% from the three. And those were all fake in the second half. Rebounds. Look you at know, those big offensive rebounds. Just a, a terrific game. I think Slovenia clearly do not need to hang their heads. They need to get this out of their system, come back, and be ready to go uh, the next time they step on the floor. And that next time will be tomorrow uh, when they go up against Turkey. And that will be a must-win game for them. And they'll finish up against Italy. Uh, Slovenia... Who knows? Could still end up finishing first in this group. There are plenty of games. Uh, Hungary to have a letdown. You don't know. You know what? This group, Group C at Eurobasket 2019, it could come down to points for and against your points average to decide for second or third point, in my opinion. Well, we could not have asked for better. Uh, 40 minutes of basketball here in the opening game of Group C in Niche. And uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, Hungary not being that far away, the good fans uh, might have a little bit of an invasion uh, for this Hungarian team because if they play like that, they, they've got possibilities. But remember, you need a top six finish to make it to the uh, FIBA Women's Olympic Qualifying Tournament. And these teams aren't thinking about that right now. They're just thinking about staying alive and advancing. But, you know, in the back of your minds, you have to wonder uh, what the possibilities are for a team that has Yvonne Turner or Hattar. Uh, in this tournament, also those other characters like Zele, there are a lot of people that stepped up for Hungary today when their backs were against the wall. Yeah, you know, I thought as far as veteran leadership as well, Courtney coming in, and as you mentioned, she took a couple years off, time away from the national team to start a family, and I thought she also did a great job coming in, you know, maybe statistically it doesn't look like she had this great game, but she really, you could just see the leadership. So Hungary win it 88 to 84. Coming up 6.30 local time here in East Serbia. It'll be Turkey taking on Italy at the FIBA Women's Eurobasket 2019 uh, opening day. 